in 2020. We were a lot more active on social media and online. This is because we all had to quarantine at some point. There were some dramas, but it wasn't as bad as 2021. When 2021 began, the dramas would really spike up to hell. Like there is a drama 24-7, and it is getting too far. Honestly, this is when the community really started to fall and die. Later on in the year, the drama would just get worse, and really now, there's a drama for liking something that most people do not like. For this case, for me, it's about Neptunia. People criticise me for liking Neptunia because it is apparently cheese pizza. There is no way that it is, because if it was, it would have been banned in several countries and platforms. Neptunia is just an anime with lollies, but they aren't such a big deal, not even close to cheese pizza. This is like saying, Samsung is better than Apple, and then there's a whole drama about it, and you get cancelled for liking Apple. The internet's just full of pathetic people. It all started with a medium drama back in January 21. An annoying group called WFCD started to annoy some Windows community people. This was all the way back in January because users were having such drama. After a few dramas, many users got annoyed by uh, server spies, also known as the destroyers, which will not tell their alt they use in the server. Then we are going to Mars. A pretty good month until some users are getting annoyed by another group called the RRC. This drama group is owned by Dan Wayne Necrosma, Hertz, Windows XP Pro, WEBR7 and many other destroyers. The aim of those communities is to destroy Windows furry people. But in my opinion, those people are not furries. Because if I was a Minecraft addict, I would be a Minecraft furry. And that is also bullshit, of course. A few months later, uh, uh, Julian, also known as MTLZ, got falsely blamed for being with WFCD and RRC. Windows XP Pro made everyone in the OSE think that he is a bad user. However, it was false. It was just because of some people trying to troll Neptune, Windows, Terra and the fell older people to dump me. However, I was right. Windows XP Pro and some new older people called Hertz, Downwings, Necrosma teamed up with We. FCD and made it to uh, annoy several people including doxing and many other stuff. Alright, then we are going to the last topic and this is about WSCD, Neptune, Terra, MTLZ and some other people. It started all two weeks ago. MTLZ Akami uh, came back from a drama uh, and Neptune became addicted to uh, anime series called Neptunia. This had bad reputations for all the users because they were getting annoyed. Older people did not accept the opinion about Neptune, so they got very mad and it all got out of hand, including me, Aka, MTLZ, needing to be play the police again. And also, after many, many days of drama and other bullshit. Neptune decided to move on, but nobody is completely done with the drama yet. I suggest everyone to leave each other alone until things are solved again. This can either be some people leaving the community or just building their own community. I suggest not to do anything until the drama is gone. So basically lately there's been drama every single day from what I've seen because there's some groups that I'm a part of which I'm not like the most active in because I do other things but every time I tend to look in them because I check them every once in a while I always see some sort of drama going on like people arguing about something or something bad happening to people and like everyone freaking out and 
it's just what I've noticed. And the thing I'll say about Discord is that there's actually a lot of disagreements because believe it or not, the definition of Discord is disagreements between people. And I see a lot of that on Discord. So I think the name fits extremely well, to be honest. But I just wish that people could just talk like normal people and not argue because having drama every day is not healthy for people. It's certainly not good. I would try and resolve the drama as best as I can or to, you know, try and prevent it because having to see drama every single day and then me being like, what, what's even going on? Because I usually see it right in the middle of it happening and I'm like, what what's going on here? Like, wh what are they even talking about? And pretty much, I just want to say that try if, if you're watching this video, try and not cause any drama anywhere because no one likes drama and I'm sure you don't either. So if there's a disagreement, talk it out like adults, even if you're not adults, try and talk it out in a professional way. So that way you can prevent the drama from happening. And that's, you know, a good way to do it and to just be smart about things, you know, don't try and cause an argument over something that isn't even worth arguing over. So that's pretty much what I have to say about the drama. Just make it end, act mature, and if something bad's going on, don't freak out and make it into a drama situation. Just, yeah, that, that's all I have to really say about it. Okay, yo, hi, it's it's actually finally my turn now. So, um, I, I, I've actually been wanting to like talk about this for a very long time, like just a very long time. Like finally, it's my turn. So, what I, what I, what I really wanted to talk about is, it just like, uh, un, un, annoying, just annoying, painful, just having drama every day, like resolving, like, you know, if, you know, like, some of my friends, like, yeah, that I know, they have just gone, like, gone, they, uh, I don't even know, some of them just dumped me, they don't care anymore, I know, but there's, like, still a lot of them that does, and I'm trying to, like, resolve this, I'm trying, like, to help, help people, I'm really nice to people, like, uh, you, you can't even tell, like, some of my other friends, I actually gifted them, like, a card for a game called Minecraft, you actually, yeah, I mean, everyone knows Minecraft, but I, I, honestly, I'm a really nice person. I, I, I do not like starting drama or making people be, feel bad, but, but, like, just, just feeling, like, guilty, caring about the guilt instead of the more, uh, instead of the person, you're just wrong. Like, you just immediately leave or something without, like, uh, actually thinking about to turn, to turn that off or off. Like seriously, uh, it's it's adjustable. Like everyone can do that, and basically, there's been a lot of controversy going on. And I honestly think it's just BS. Like at, at this point, because I just don't like these dramas. I I don't like to be rude. I'm not rude myself. I do not like it, but sometimes I just reach my limit, and I get really mad. I'm I'm really sorry about that, but. Uh, otherwise, I do not like to be really mad. I do not like to feel rude or anything like that. But it probably everyone knows by now, or some of some of them don't know that that Elinia, what Elinia, aka Mushroom before, you know, called Mushroom before, actually comment commented this, commented this. You know, my other friends knows this. What? If, there are a lot of people that I've told no one knows about this. You should also know about this now. And I honestly think it's just sad. That's why I'm probably uh, being unmotivated to like do content sometimes. But I usually do live streams. It's actually fun. And I usually like communicate with people a lot to understand what's wrong and what's right instead of just being alone and you know a guy called camden i keep coming back to him because i mean he's been he's changed and he's really nice now like he really talk him talk to him a lot and he doesn't seem to be that person or a guy before like i'm pretty sure everyone knows who uh who uh camden was like these like botting stuff he doesn't do that anymore because He's really nice now. I, I really like him too. I, I never hated him, but I just didn't appreciate the like the hacks and stuff that happened to GD that just ruins it. But I'm happy to see him like 
they and being a really good friend now and speaking of that you guys know about the Alcato converser con controversy controversy right so same as Alcato I'm pretty sure it has also changed a lot I don't think it does the thing anymore as it did in 2018 like everyone knew about Alcatel and it like he disabled accounts for other regions and stuff but he regrets that even the accounts he used to quote unquote hack or uh, or or like scam people for that he gave them back so every everything should be back ever since ever since 2019 early 2019 he didn't do anything anymore like he's just too nice I can see I don't think I, I don't think I see him anymore in the community, but he usually responds to my DM, so it's fine. And I just wanted you guys to like understand how it is, how it feels like. So n n nothing bad, just 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 emotionally hurt, like what usually happens. And I feel better soon when like there's other things going on. But don't get me wrong, I'm I'm I, I'm like I. I, I don't like, like, you know, I'm doing really horrible things and for sure no one and for sure everyone has feelings if you think about it. So, um, I, 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 I hope this really gets solved soon. I hope you guys really have a nice day because thing, this is the end, so goodbye!